Hello, you lovely lot. Good afternoon. I'm back, Lucha FM, with some TW 2020 madness. Um, where you left us off last, we managed to get a TV deal. So we now have, on every Tuesday, we have FCP Afterburn, only an hour long. I just, I did, at the end of the last episode, I did try and ext uh, extend it, but the, uh, the, the broadcaster blocked it, so it's a bit annoying. I could technically add another TV show and then get another deal for that. Um, but I just think for now, we'll just leave it for a month or two. We'll just keep it as a one hour, probably try and do two matches on each show, a uh, women's match and a men's match, whether it be a tag team or a title match. Uh, and then what we'll try and do eventually is add another show and maybe just um, get a few wrestlers in there that aren't in the main event mix, and try and get them over a bit. So that's a long-term goal. And then eventually it'll probably be like two hours each show and I'll probably do two hours a week, uh, two shows of uh, an episode, TV shows, and we'll just see how it goes. But we'll just progress slowly. We don't want to go, we don't want to run before we can walk. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a second with the first part of the episode. Here we are. So um, let's have a look at the absent workers. Oh, let's ignore. So basically, Sandow and uh, D'Angelo and Harlem are wrestling for NWA. So not available. Mike Bird is out injured. So is Nicole Matthews, so is Pete Bouncer, and then Sean Navar is working for NWA as well. Um, there's no big loss because we don't really have them in, uh, we don't really book them very often. So backstage incidents, uh, incident involving Abaddon and Libby Grace. So Abaddon was being obnoxious and eventually beat up. So we're just going to, oh yeah, I'm going to fire Abaddon. We can't be having people getting aggressive and fighting in here. Danny Jones brought uh, Danny Jones brought some friends backstage, breaking the locker room rules as an employee will just go fine. It's not that bad. Trent Seven was being obnoxious and oh, for God's sake, Trent. Uh, I don't want to fire him, so I'm gonna fine him. Brett Hart, oh for God's sake, Brett, I don't want to fire you either. I'm not gonna fire them. I don't care how many people they beat up, they're not going, he's going. Um, I don't care if it's, it's a bit of a hypocrite edit. Like, it's like all he do is bring some friends backstage around firing him. But yeah, here's what it is. Right. Sam Lam was brought before the wrestlers court accused of failing to pick up the share of the tab in the bar. Wouldn't surprise me with Sam Lam. Um, and basically he had to buy drinks for everybody at the, at, after the show. Uh, Adam Brooks was brought to wrestlers court accused of not joining the wrestler locker room for night out. Uh, Robert Brooks, so I found him guilty and sent him to buy drinks for everybody after the show. So everybody's going to have a very good time after the show with Sandman and Adam Brooks put in the bill. Right, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we'll do a singles match. Do A Kid versus Al Phantasma. We'll do Al Phantasma. Do 20 minutes for that. We'll do um, A Kid on the microphone, but we'll do scripted. El Fantasmo on the microphone, but script him as well. That for the show. 28 minutes, we must have up to 65 minutes, and fans are expecting a show between 75% matches. Currently it's 79, so we're not be pinned so that's good. Do can we do Trent today? Is Trent available? He is available. So we've got a title match on the line. Uh I'm not gonna have Trent lose the title on the TV show. I think that's I think that's a bit silly. So what we're gonna do is have him against uh, let's go Cara Noir. I haven't had him in a match yet. We'll see how he does. Trent win. Just have it as a regular match. Uh, just, yeah. And then do an angle before their match with Trent. Microphone. Cara Noir. Microphone. At least one person. What? There must be at least one person who... Oh, sorry. Microphone. So there you go. So that's the next Afterburn show. Freestyle angle didn't do very well. Did terrible. 19, so that's not good. The match did better, though. 50 rank for the match. Uh, Al Phantasma beat A-Kid. Angle with Trent and Cara Noir did well. 41 rating. Uh, Trent 7 defeated Cara Noir. Got a 60 rank for the match. And they have good chemistry as well. Great chemistry, which is good. So it's nice to see. Finish the show. Got a 53 rating overall. Increased, uh, increased the popularity in one region. Got a 67. What I want to try and do is try and do, eventually just do like, a, even if we only have two matches, 
try and do the best two matches we can every week. At the moment, I'm just throwing people in there, really, trying people out. But we've got 67 people in, um, increased the popularity in one, we've got a 53 rating, which isn't too bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just see if there's anything worth mentioning when this finishes in a second, and then we'll go to the next show. So the, so the way these, these episodes will run now is I'll probably manage to fit like four or five shows in because... Um, so we should be all right and then maybe might be able to do like one month in total each month and we'll do four tv shows and then the event itself lana wants some more money yeah that's fine and then after burn we got 0.01 and we got 2006, uh, 2065 which i think was better than the last one um how are we doing at the moment 14 percent prestige and 83 percent momentum uh we've got another show in six days and then the main event at the, the an actual event in 25 days right we're back the shows are coming thick and fast now um we've got a few backstage incidents but let's have a look see who's absent so chris hero is working for japan uh sandal de niro and grado are unavailable kenny Doan um is also unavailable maybe i might look into getting rid of any wrestlers that are uh, the wrestling for nwa as well because it just seems to be every week they're unavailable because they're wrestling for them so uh, Tajiri is not available either, but yeah, let's have a look at the backstage incidents. Uh, Damien Dunn has gotten into a lot of heat and rest locker room re so he's a, he's annoying a lot of people, so I'm going to have to get rid of him, sadly. Uh, Vicky Haskins has got a lot of heat, so exactly the same as Damien Dunn, so she's got to go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Robbie Brookside was now uh, was being obnoxious and eventually beat up, so we need to find him. Robbie Brookside's a really good road agent. I really don't want to get rid of him. It will affect the quality. So what we do? Angle first. No, we won't. We'll do the angle first. We always do the match first. Then we fit, and then we do the angle afterwards. Right. So we'll do the tag team match to start the show. Uh, male tag team. See who we've got. If we've got any tag teams, we can pretty deadly. We can put in a match against the POD. The, the opening match. What we'll do, we'll do pre-match uh, angle. Sorry, post-match. We'll do it post-match instead. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll do a women's tag team match as well, actually. So we'll do Ginny, Kelly Ray, Killer Kelly, and uh, should we do Pollyanna? And then we'll do an angle for that. So we'll do Ginny, microphone, script. Uh, we'll script everybody actually. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Makes it easier. And then we'll do Kaylee Ray, Killa Kelly, Holly Elmer. Six minutes sorted. We'll pop that there. That's that. Uh, 56 minutes, 75%. And that, so that's that. So we'll start the show. Um, tag team match. POD defeated pretty deadly. Got a 51 rating. Kit Wilson seems off his game. Post match beatdown afterwards, only got a 26 rating. The uh, angle, the microphone angle with uh, Ginny, Kelly Ray, Killer Kelly, and Pollyanna, got a 34 rating. Uh, that's good. And then the main event only got a 58 rating, which isn't good. Um, Ginny only got a 59. What's happening with her lately? That's really weird. That's not like her. Three star. Popularity in one region, we've got 52 rating, we've got 68 people, so it's all right. I think the next, no, I won't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna only put the really good matches on the, on the events. I think be a good idea. Um, yeah, let's see if there's any news to come from this after the show. Probably not. Never usually anything exciting. Um, we tried to sign Zach Gibson, but he didn't want to know because we're too small for him apparently. So he extended his deal with WWE. So I don't understand why they got rid of James Drake and not and not got rid of uh, not got rid of Zach Gibson as well. But yeah. They obviously rated him higher. Uh, we've already got Danny Luna. I don't know why I was going for her. He hasn't wrestled for us for a while, though. Oh, James Drake walks out. Okay. Uh, apparently, extreme and happy here. James Drake walked out. Probably because I, I keep forgetting he's on the show. He's on my roster. So, there you go. Right, 2092. So, I think that's slightly up from last show. Uh, right, so that's that. And we're back. Um... So, let's have a look. See who is available. Not available. Let's see who's not available. Uh, usual suspect by the looks of it. Yeah, so wrestlers we don't need to worry about too much. Um, Starbuck has turned up late. Um, breaking locker rooms, just fine him. Steve Logan was almost got into a fight with Steve, we'll just fine you. 
Tajiri is being obnoxious and eventually be, we'll get rid of Tajiri simply because he's retiring soon so there's no point keeping him so we'll just get rid of him. Kara Noir has gotten a lot of heat, rest of the locker room, really not to you, find him. Alright, sorted. So what I'm going to do, first match is going to be a singles match. It's going to be Kenny Williams versus Nathan Cruz. I think they would have a good match. i have that as the first match. Uh, we'll do an angle as well. Kenny Williams, microphone, Nathan Cruz, microphone. Uh, and then what we'll do for the main event, um, my mind went blank, I did think of the main event. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. And uh, tag team partners going at it. Uh, can I have Mark Andrews in this one? Yeah, Mark Andrews. So there you go. Just going to have them. And then what we'll do is we'll do steal the show. Hopefully this will work out well. By the way, um, Bret Hart's handed in his notice for some reason. He's, le he's leaving in 28 days, which is sad because he is an integral part of making sure the shows run uh, really well with him on. Commentary and also as a road agent, so he's going to be a big miss to us. Uh, but yeah, here's the show. Oh, no, I need to do an angle first. Morgan Webster, microphone, Mark Andrews. Not Mark Adams. Ugh, I don't want to do that again. And the last time, I had them scripted. Oh, okay, so Morgan Webster prefers to not have a script. So let's get on with the show. 40. F oh, that's the angle. It's all right. I thought that was the match then. Uh, 44 for the angle. 61. I was expecting better than that. 60 for Kenny Williams and 59 for Nathan Cruz. I wonder if it's like when it's a TV show, maybe they um, works different than events. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section because it's weird. Because if I had the, these two wrestle 20 minutes in a normal match on an event, then they would have a better, that would be a better rating, I reckon. Uh, Angle with more grabs than Mark Andrews got a 62. Uh, and they only got a 66. 73 and a 69 rating. Hmm. Winter probably could have done better. Maybe it was the road agent's fault. Maybe it was too long as well. But we still did well. 64, 71 people turned up and improved, uh, increased our popularity in one region. Nicole Matthews returns. Uh, after burn, we managed to get 0 0.1 rate, 0 0.0, 0.01 T rate. Again, 2,133, which is the same as last. I'll try and do better than that. 15% uh, prestige. Well, prestige has gone up slightly, so that's good. We've got another show in six days. So, yeah, you know the score. See you in a sec. Um, we've got episode five now of Afterburn. Um, I'm really confused why the last show I tried to have like a really good show. And the wrestlers just didn't perform. I don't know why. It must be something to do with the TV being different. Um, we haven't really got anybody worry about Sue Young and... All London, I suppose, but that's about it, really. Backstage instant, Jesus Christ, they keep going thick and fast here. It's probably why you have, what happens when you have a really big roster. This is what happens. I need to trim it down, I think, after this show. Marble almost got in a fight with Simon Grimm, which is fine. Ara Noir and, uh, caused heat backstage when a mean spirit rib pulled on the Sandman. Nearly led to a fight backstage, fine him. Trent Seven almost got into a fight with Rob Terry. I mean, Trent, I, I love you a bit, buddy, but you'd have got effed up by bloody Rob, Rob Terry. <laughs> He's massive, mate. What are you playing at? Uh, so basically, um, Trent Seven damaged Rob Terry's rental car and then refused to pay for it. So we're just going to find you. Kenny Williams got into a heated argument with a fan out state, uh, outside of the arena, had to be restrained. Yeah, we can't tolerate that. Sabu, I need to get rid of Sabu anyway. He's a liability. I shouldn't have brought him in the first place. Chris Terry, uh, Chris Terry, sorry, Chris Hero was antagonizing Los Federos Santos Juniors. Junior, sorry, so much that a fight broke out. Okay, fine, you, Chris Hero. Uh, Chris Renfrew was just stern warning. It was not that bad. Bring some friends over. They're probably nice people. Haven't caused any issues, so they should be allowed. Right, let's do a women's match. We haven't done a women's single match for a while. Exclude already booked. So is Ginny available? She is. Uh, should we do Kaylee Ray? No, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do. No, let's do somebody different. Trisha Dora. Let's try Trisha Dora. Give her, a, give her a chance. Twenty million. Twenty minutes. Is is Ginny the champion? No, Killer Kelly's still the champion. Uh, we'll just leave that blank. We'll see if uh, Trish wins or Ginny wins. Do an angle. We'll do a post match speed down afterwards. Ginny, point in. Trish, no, not Trent. Trish, selling. 
Uh, and then what we'll do is I'm going to do a five versus five match. We'll do Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, Joseph Lewis. Uh, Thomas Billington, and then put a tag team in the male tag team. Let's see who we can put in here. Uh, generation next versus. Let's see who we can put in here. So if we have a tag team, Wave Busters, no, no, no. New elements already in the map. Um, oh, where are they? Scum. There we go. Do scum. Singles view. Uh, who are we going to put in here with them? Chris Saving, maybe? No, no, wrong way. Chris Saving. Check down here a bit. Oh, Kid Lycos. Nathan Cruz. Just leave it as a normal match. Um, do an angle, but we won't do. We'll just do Kenny Williams attacking, fighting. Um, Mark Andrews after the show. What I need to do offline is start making some storylines, so then we can work book the events and then work our way backwards through the TV shows towards it. Try and do it like that. So I might start doing that soon. Um, but yeah, six minutes that will be do nicely. There we go. Start the show. Uh, Ginny defeated Trish. Uh, Trish Adora. Got a 47 rating. Uh, Trish, um, sorry, Ginny only got a 59 rating or 69 rating. Uh, it doesn't help we've got the Sandman. Uh, I need to get rid of the Sandman, I think. Not, well, not get rid of him, just keep him away from being road agent. Uh, the Angle Athlete's got a 29. And then the main event, which was a 5 on 5 match, um, the good guys basically won when Mark Andrews pinned Jack Evans with a shooting star press. Uh, who was the standout performer? Here? Well, Jack Evans was not very good in this match. Morgan Webster got 72. How did Mark Andrews do? 68, so they were probably the best performers in the match by a landslide. And then the angle afterwards got a 54 rating. So, yeah, we've got a 58 overall rating for that. 68 people turned up. And show increased our popularity in one region. Trisha Dora was overbooked. So, uh, yeah, so not too bad. All right, Ginny wants an increase. I'll give Ginny an increase. Uh, Afterburn got 0.01 uh, T rating. 2,199. So that's slightly up. So that's good. That's nice to see. Right, when's our next show? Techers in four days. So, what I'll do then is I'll forward to Techers and then hopefully we can book a really good event. Right, we're back for our next event, which is Techers. Just got to automatically do that. So we're going to have a lot of people, a lot of broadcasters here, so hopefully all that will help us. Uh, I haven't seen this before. Psycho Summon. So I'm just going to see what happens here. Are you sure you want to give a Psycho Summon? There is a two-month waiting period before you will be able to give another. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see how it goes. You've given the Psycho Summon. Everyone in the locker room is now going to give their absolute best. And they don't have to come back and face you for a... There you go. That's what we want to see. Right, let's have a look at absent workers. Alex Shane is working elsewhere. So is Calvert Tankman, Captain Sexy, Chili, and Melissa, Chris Hero. Let's see if any of these are actually. Um, Jack Evans is, is one that wrestles regularly. Luke Jacobs, we haven't used for a while, or Michael Oku. I, keep, I forgot they were even here. Um, yeah, Trisha Dora just worked recently, but other than that, it's not really making any difference. Backstage incidents, God, there's a lot again. Trent Seven got into heated argument with fan outside and to find him again. Offer uh, this this bloke here, this he keeps getting in a lot of uh, issues here. I'm gonna just fire you. I never never have uh, you never wrestle anyway. Turned up late, that's fine. We're not bothered about you turn up late, it's no issue. Uh Nikki Knox don't never had her on the on any shows, so we can just get rid of her. David Bradshaw almost going a fight with Bret Hart to find you. Uh I knew it's not that bad. Sandman turned up very late, breaking the locker room rules. As employee, you now have to... Right, okay. Um, I'm going to fire you. There you go. Right, let's see how we do. So this is an event. So hopefully we can put on a good show here and we'll, we'll do well. So uh, let's keep it simple to start off with. Let's do the pre-show match first. We haven't seen them wrestle for a while. Blue cane, shaper, sir. Male. Singles, tag team view, exclude or even. We'll just go with the wanted for now. Team is pre-show much. Blue came winner. Jubbly jubbly. Yep, that's fine. Don't care. Right. So let's see which match. We'll do a normal tag team match now. Uh, male. We'll do the new elements versus scum as a rematch. 22 minutes. So still the show. Actually, no, we'll just leave this as, we'll put this as storytelling. Storytelling. There we go. Tag team titles on the line. Yep. We'll leave it to the AI to decide who wins. Do an angle with them as well. Kenny, 
phone. We'll do these all scripted as well. Is that done? Kelly was letting know is okay, that's fine. Morgan Webster, okay. Swap them around. That's that. Uh, next match, do women's five way singles match for the title. Uh, Killer Kelly, uh, Ginny, of course. And we'll do Kaylee Ray, Miller McKenzie, and uh, who else? Maybe Zaya Brookside, Valkyrie, 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 another shot. See how she gets on. 20 minutes for the women's title. Yep, fine. All right, next match, do a normal singles match. Um, do Chris Hero. Oh, no, we can't do Chris Hero. Do Chris Saban then. Chris Saban, which is Matt Seidel. Uh, we'll do an angle with them as well, just to set it up. All right, that's that. Uh, there we go. Um, right, so how long are we doing? 83 minutes so far. We've still got plenty of time to do this, actually. 75%, 86%, so we can just keep going on with some more matches. Let's do another singles one. Do Dave Mastiff, the available? Yes, he is. We'll do Dave Mastiff. Who are we going to have him against? A Kid, maybe? No. Uh, male, Wild Ball, maybe? We'll do Wild Ball. Do 17 minutes for that match. Okay, we'll do 15 minutes then. Move them over there. Uh, need to move that angle as well. Right, how long are we done now? 100 minutes, um, still won't be penalised, so I think we'll do, we'll do two more matches, so we'll do another women's match, I think. Women, who have we got available? Ivelisse, Jetta, we've got Ivelisse versus Jetta, I think, 15 minutes. Throw it in there, move this down the card a bit though. Um, so we're still, right, so we'll do the main event now. So we'll do the main event, we'll do an angle for the main event. So the main event will be French 7 defending his title. Who are we going to have him against? Akid maybe, Amazing Red maybe. I don't know, Akid we've already got in a match, I think. Eddie Dennis, maybe. Uh, Eric Rowan, Grado, Joey Hayes, Jody Fleisch. He'd like us too, there you go. They should have a really good match, I reckon. I hope. 22 minutes, heavyweight title. We'll just have Trent win this. Uh, should we do? we we'll do storytelling. Right, we just need to do an angle to set that up. Actually, we'll just do it. Yeah, we'll do an angle. Right, Trent, my phone. We'll do Kid Lycos. My phone. Minutes done. There you go. So that's that set up. So we've gone, we've done 147 minutes. Uh, we've done 88. So we're up 80% uh, matches with Pinwise. Let's just have a look at the booking analysis. Yeah, that's fine. All right, then we are good to go. So Kamikaze defeated the Wanted, got a 47 rating. Had a Kane to a Blue Kane do. Blue Kane got a 35 rating. So he was getting 33s before. The more he wrestles, the better he's getting. I'm determined to make him one of the best workers in the world before it's all said and done. Um, angle with. Uh, new element and scum got a 48 rating. Joseph kind of struggled a lot because other people were not following the script. So, annoyingly, even though they wanted to be um, not scripted, it affected the angle, but it is what it is. Uh, the match got a 72 rating. Kenny Williams only got a 71. See, the wrestlers are completely. I don't know what's happened here. Something's happened because these wrestlers before were getting ridiculously match performances. So, I don't know what's changed. Can someone let me know in the comments section? My product hasn't changed, so I don't understand why they're suddenly just not performing to what they used to perform to. Really weird. Uh, Killer Kelly won the five-way match, retained the title, only got a 55 rating. See you again, Ginny, 59. Uh, I reckon it's something to do with the... It might. It must be something to do with the road agents, yeah. John Stamboli, to make sure he's not booking any more matches. Uh, so Johnny Moss, that's fine. James Morata, that's fine. Fine, I think. Madison Eagles. Maybe change that to Bret Hart. Uh, and then let's see who we've got here. This. I think this will be all right. All right let's continue with the show. See how we go. So, um, Jetta defeated Ivelisse. Got a 47 rating. Uh, Jetta was the standout performer of the match. Ivelisse got a broken rib. Road agent Johnny Moss. So, we need to get rid of Johnny Moss as a road agent. Dave Mastiff defeated Wild Boar and got a 51 rating. I think it's something to do with um, increasing prestige that's made these matches poorly. I don't know. I need to find out. Let me know in the comment section, please. Uh, I will ask in the Facebook groups and stuff like that. But yeah, right, let's have a look. Um, so that got 51 rating. The angle with Chris Saban and Matt Seidel got a 41 rating. The match got a 65 rating. Uh, Chris Saban defeated Matt Seidel. Uh, Matt Seidel was slightly better than Chris Saban in the match. Uh, angle with Trent and Kid Lycos got a 36. And then the match got a 62. Um, yeah, not, not the best. Got a 61 rating. Improved our... So we've increased our popularity in 56 regions. So we are going to start becoming more popular around the world. Sadly, we've only got 58 people in for this one there. Ah, uh, shame. I've got to figure this out quickly. Get back on track and getting really good 
shows. Increasing our popularity is unfortunately making the matches worse. I don't know why. So what I'm gonna do offline is I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of some of the wrestlers um and then basically look at um bringing in other wrestlers in, hopefully, better workers. So we managed to get 3,900 viewers, which is the most we've ever had. We had 16,680 viewers overall, which is really good. Uh, let's have a look. We've got, we've got now we've got 77,546, so we're making some big money now. Um, to, to let you know, before this show, we only had... Oh, no, actually, no, I've got that wrong. We've lost money. What am I on about? Um, we had 127K before that show. That's cost us money. Right, <laughs> 146 now. That's not good. Um, ticket sales 1,924. Broadcast revenue was only 2,215. Sponsors was 6,357. That's half what we usually get. Uh, merchandise was half what we usually get as well. This is really weird. And what was our biggest expense? See, because I've upped the production, but then the production wasn't as bad as it was the last one. Uh, monthly wage bill, estimated sponsor income. This is the middle of the month, actually. Uh, well, towards the end of the month. I'll have a look in a, next week when we do the next show. So we've got Afterburn tomorrow night, but we'll do that on the next episode. Um, I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, like I said, anybody that watches these and there's more of an expert on TW than me, can you let me know what I've done wrong and how to fix it? I would really appreciate it. First of all, I don't want to start losing money each show. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll be back next week with another episode and I'll speak to you soon. See ya. Bye.